if I told you there was a connection between ancient cultures around the world? A great circle. Awaken. Gamescom, Gamescom, Gamescom. If you say it three times, Jeff Keighley will appear. Nope, he's not really here. But I can say there were, you know, three things at Gamescom that were pretty awesome, right? The Indiana Jones looked fantastic, by the way. I love that they showed the actor that they did mocap for that. They really put a lot of effort into the Indiana Jones game. I love it. They have a lot of passion for it. And I think this is good for Disney as we see Star Wars decline lately with the horrible productions of the Aqualite, as everyone knows. The Indiana Jones series has been kind of had the same treatment. We haven't had any new series with Indiana Jones, which I think they could have a Disney Plus series with Indiana Jones if they did it right. And we know it can. If you just get the director of Andor, that would be great. The Indiana Jones, the actor who plays it, I'll put the name here because I forgot off the top of my head. I'm Troy Baker and I play Indy. But the actor who plays Indiana Jones, super passionate about Indy, and you could tell his performance is stellar. And it's all mocap. It, it all looks great. The way that they explained it is it's going to have open world hub areas. The Great Circle spans the entire globe, from snake-filled jungle temples to scorpion-riddled desert tombs. Stunning open areas to explore freely, full of secrets for you to discover. And you'll get more than just the classic whip and revolver. Where you can explore different stuff. So on the outside, it looks like to me like it's going to be kind of like Jedi Survivor. I don't know if the game's going to be quite that big. But it alluded at the game being quite medium sized, quite a bit of space to explore. And it reminded me of Jedi Survivor or Jedi Fallen Order, right? It reminded me of that. It reminded me of Cal, Cal Kestis. They did a good job with the animations. The way you can act physically and also have a weapon that is kind of like Jedi Survivor. That's also like what they did in, in those types, in those games, right? What Respawn did in those games. So that is cool. They did allude to that. They showed some good uh, actions with the revolver. So it looks like you could choose your gameplay. It looks like you will be able to choose, hey, I want to use a whip. I want to use my fist or I want to use the revolver like in any movie. It just pulls out, pow, shoots the guy flopping around his weapon. Everything looks good. The graphics look good. Fidelity looks good. The interaction with the environment looks good. The puzzles look good. The puzzles look like they are medium difficulty, which I love. I hate puzzles that are too hard to solve. You want to know why? It's because I want to get fluid. I want to go with the game and I want to have puzzles that I can actually solve and feel gratification to it. I don't want to spend too long on a puzzle. I don't know about you. Some people might like more complex puzzles, but I'm good with what the puzzles they showed. So I'm happy with the gameplay so far. I'm happy that they showed more in-game design. We see a boat, so we know we can go on water. We see different terrains, jungles, temples, tombs, outdoor activities, and we see stuff on the water with boats. We have boats, we have airplanes. You know, I don't know what other vehicles or other things they have in there. They're definitely gonna have a car scene. You know, we definitely have cars too. Indy's all about that, the cars. We have the iconic boulder coming through that they showed. It looks like we have traps. We have interactions with character. I don't know if we have dialogue choices. It seems like we might have dialogue choices as well. It seems like they're designing this, the Great Circle, to be a custom Indiana Jones experience. Kind of like the Fallout TV show, this is supposed to be like a movie entry into the franchise, only it's an interactive one, right? So it's going backwards from the Fallout TV show. It gives Indy a whole new life. It gives you a chance to explore the world, have puzzles. And like I said, it looks like it's going to be kind of like a Jedi survivor thing. They alluded to optional puzzles, to secret areas, to different types of combat, to really expanded worlds and hub worlds, it seems like. So that was one of the highlights of Gamescom. Love that. The one thing that surprised me the most from Game Com Gamescom this is the only other thing that I was interested in. Is the Dune game. The Dune MMO. I haven't wanted to play an MMO in a long time. 
because we always get these fantasy, these high fantasy MMOs, not interested in that at all. The last time we got a really good space-based MMO was Swart War, okay? Swart War is really good. It's still going, by the way, but I've just played it, you know, too long. So this game kind of reminds me of Swart War mixed, mixed with Mass Effect, mixed with like Conan the Barbarian. It looks really good. It's from Funcom. Funcom is a solid developer for MMOs. They make really good MMOs and they've made the Conan series. They had uh, the original Conan MMO was really good, by the way. And then they had Conan, Conan Exiles, which is still going on. And I'm guessing that's partly how they funded this project. But I really like what they're doing with Legendary. I really like that they're bringing these franchises to life. And what they did most, what intrigued me the most is you get to customize your character, get into the As world. A nameless prisoner, sculpt your appearance, choose your background, and then crash into the planet. You are abandoned and alone. Hunted by sandworms, scorched by the unforgiving sun, ravaged by sunstroke. Stick to the shade, chase the moving shadows, survive. Welcome to Arrakis, the most dangerous planet. And play through your eyes, make your decisions, make your choices. It reminds me of a lot of like Swart War. And it looks like there's a lot of areas to explore. And instead of mounts, you get a thopter. So it does show that you get a thopter. You get different styles of gameplay. It looks like there's some stealth. It looks like there's some shooting, some other different kind of kind of gameplays. We see you could spike the ground, and that's probably like an ultimate ability. You strike the ground, and the sandworm comes up and strikes. And all, overall, it just looks super exciting to play. The graphics look really good. The fidelity looks really good. The, the, from what I can see so far, the, the hub world looks really good. Like the, the main area, the main town looks really good. And you get to explore a bunch of stories. They alluded to a, you know, story focused MMO like Swart War, basically. It's the, the best thing about Swart War is it's very story oriented. It's a really good game, by the way, if you haven't played. And you also make choices in it. And it does affect your, you know, your instance game. And we see that a lot with new with some MMOs now that they are adopting more of that ESO, that Swart War type feeling where you have solo instances of your queues, right? In other words, you have solo things to complete. So they're trying to give you that solo experience, the exploration experience and living in the Doom universe. I was super surprised by this and I'm excited to play and sink a lot of hours into it. Am I worried that it won't be good? No, because Funcom makes solid MMOs. They do. Now, their MMOs aren't blockbusters or anything, but they're solid. They play well. They have good mechanics. They have good social aspects to them. So everything usually I haven't I haven't seen a bad Funcom, you know, MMO yet. They do a little bit different stuff. Some things it doesn't catch on. They're not it's not like wow or something, but they are very good games. They are solid. They make good games. In fact, I think their games are a little bit underrated sometimes. So those were the most exciting things about Gamescom. Let's go check it out and see everything we know about, you know, the Doom MMO. Doom Awakening coming early 2025. Great. Added to wishlist. Definitely. Welcome to Arrakis. Good fidelity. We can see here this is going to be story driven like I imagined. Great, great fidelity and graphics. This is great. This really is. This is so great, man. This is such a good world to explore. The movies can only get so far and the movies are long themselves, but it can, it can only get so far in the movies. This is great, guys. Dune Awakening is an open world survival MMO. Oh, OK. Survival MMO set on the most dangerous planet in the universe. Arrakis. This is your Dune, the most dangerous planet in the universe. A Dune where Paul Atreides was never born and a war of assassins rages between Atreides and Harkonnen where the machinations of guilds and powerful houses devour and devoured the unprepared as easily as the ancient sandworms that prowl the open deserts. In an open world shared by hundreds of other players, 
you will rise to lead a great house and control the flow of spice itself. Your journey begins here in the desert. Find Freeman, Freeman, wake the sleeper. Survive, so it's gonna have survival mechanics. Learn the ways of the desert, craft cutlery, cutlery, cutter, cutter, cutterary, cutlery, craft cutlery for harvesting. Okay, yeah, so the, these are the survival mechanics, which are really cool. You're gonna craft cutlery, you're gonna craft still suit for hydrations, you're gonna upgrade that. You're gonna infiltrate bandit camps. Of course, you're gonna have bandit camps, right? The way they showed it looks really good. Like I said, stealth and, and, uh, and, you know, blasters and technology. I love this because I don't think there is a, uh, a space aged or technologically based survival MMO. You can catch, uh, correct me in the comments. Develop and specialize your character, right? That's what we want. Space is power. Risk the open desert to harvest it. Then make a fortune on the exchange or consume it unshackle your mind and enhance your abilities beyond human limits yeah but do not let addiction overcome you so it looks like we're gonna have those surviving uh those survival things come into play explore the vat vastness of arrakis piloting crafted ornithopters and ground car Ooh, ground cars too from the depths of the haga rift to the peaks of the hand hand of keter keter so this is good for people who haven't read the books like me. This will let me explore more of the lore because I don't have the attention span to read books. This is great. I can't wait. Control. Join a guild. Rise to power. Witness the landscape shift. Let's see. As Coriolis storms regularly sweep across the deep desert, wiping the map clean and revealing new riches and points of interest beneath the sand, be the fir per first to scout and seize control of locations. So it looks like we're gonna have a map refresh, which is obviously, you know, is needed in survival RPGs. Pledge your guild's loyalty to Atreides or Harkonnen. That's good. That means we're gonna have factions and they did allude to that in the trailer. So having factions is, is good. I like that. Again, reminds me of Swartor, right? June Awakening release window revealed early 2025. I hope it's not delayed. Like I said, Funcom are veteran MMOs. I think they've made like four MMOs. So we know this is going to be good. We don't have all of the details yet, but so far, so, so far, so good. And I'm super excited for this media. Let's see what kind of stuff we have here. We have the video. We have the video videos. B play with friends. Yeah, building so you can base build. Let's see. Perils of Arrakis, Dune Awakening right we have all of this good stuff screenshots let's take a look at some of the screens real quick oh yeah 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 that yeah 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 we see the vehicle with the oh yeah stunning visuals stunning visuals great fidelity a lot of uh characters on screen a lot of assets on screen everything looks detailed look we have the um these are actually detailed and animated it's not painted on graphics that's good we see multiple ooh, flamethrowers yeah Mm hmm yeah 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 yes this was the most surprising reveal and i'm glad that they didn't reveal this too early like i said funcom are veterans at this they didn't reveal this mmo too early to where people will lose um their desire or attention span to play it right we see we got lasers this is great this is great y'all this is great Woo. Look how good that's animated, dude. This is great. And these are in-game screenshots, by the way. These look great. The shadow. Look how good the shadows are in here. Man, they ooh, the texture. They really nailed this. They really nailed this game. And we see we got plant life here. That all looks good. Man, this stuff looks fantastic, man. I can't wait to play this game. This was one of the most surprising things at Gamescom. I'm glad that they released it. And trust me, Funcom, they know what they're doing. I can't wait to play this game. I will see you in the next video. Of course, like and subscribe, please.